What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Latacuente here for the Baseball Banter broadcast. And on this broadcast, we are going to be discussing MLB The Show 23. So we're going to give a quick review, my thoughts on the game itself. As an avid player and user of the game, I am very big on MLB The Show. I think that the team at San Diego Studios does a tremendous job with this game. So we're just going to go into a, a little bit of a breakdown and some of the features that they have in this game. And one of the things that uh, is really leading me into doing this video is that we have our Sunday simulation series where we've been doing on the, uh, MLB 22, the show and now 23, the show taking hold of a franchise and really trying to turn them into a World Series winner. So when we look at MLB, the show 23, and I'll have some graphics going up here uh, from the different trailers and things that they've had up. This is a game that comes out every year, um, and the team at San Diego Studios does a tremendous job of really kind of making each iteration something new and, and of its own. Uh, I think that this year they've done a very good job with the new Storylines Edition, uh, where we're focusing in on different players from the Negro Leagues. And if you play this game on a consistent basis year in and year out, you know that there's just subtle little changes and different things that they do with the gameplay. Simple things, even like check swings and, and the way that the bat reacts to it, the sound that they've added in to make the, the hits and everything seem so much more realistic, so much more authentic. This is, uh, to me, the greatest baseball simulation in terms of gameplay um, i think that there's a lot to really enjoy about the game itself if you've never taken the time to play mlb the show i definitely recommend that it. it's on multiple platforms now so not just the playstation studios uh, so playstation 4 and 5 as well as now being on the nintendo switch and the xbox series x and s um, so there's a, a lot of ways now to be able to get your hands on this game and for me, one of the main things that I focus on is the franchise mode. So beyond just the simulation series where I'm basically kind of taking hold of the team and trying to build them into a World Series winner without playing the games, I also go into a franchise mode where I take hold of my very own New York Yankees and play out through all the games in the entire season really focusing in on not just making changes to the roster, but taking the roster that we have at hand and, and really trying to turn them into a World Series winner, maybe augmenting with a trade or here or there, but really allowing the team to kind of develop and to grow and to put us in a position where we're the perennial World Series winner, not just a contender. So uh, I know that this is kind of a different video than what we've done on the Baseball Banter broadcast, but kind of wanted to bring my thoughts here as uh, when this game releases every year, it's one of the things that uh, I really like to focus on. It gives me a, a lot of time to be able to kind of relax and, and enjoy the game of baseball, but also get me excited for the game of baseball. So shout out to the team at San Diego Studios. If you're a baseball fan, it is absolutely imperative that you pick up MLB The Show 23, really spend some time with it. Um, there's several different modes. I think that there is something for everyone, uh, casual fan or you know diehard user as i am so there's a lot of different things that you can dive into diamond dynasty is a big mode that the team spends a lot of time on there's different missions and programs and then you have these specialized moments where you can go in and they allow you to kind of uh, recreate some iconic moments or live into jump into some of the more historic moments of the recent past so uh, the programs that they have on there right now feature the WBC and some of the big moments that happened during that. We also have Road to the Show where you embody your own player and you take that player through the journey through the minor leagues, through being drafted, the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues and hopefully into the Hall of Fame. So there's a lot to like, a lot of different modes to really be able to dive into as a fan of baseball on MLB The Show. So definitely take a look at it. We have an article on LatterQuintaLedger.com and I will leave links to it down in the show notes below. But it really dives into why I feel every baseball fan should not just play MLB The Show, but should dive into a franchise mode and really see what it takes to try to turn your team into a World Series winner. So I will leave links to our playlist, to our Sunday Simulation Series. We've done several of them now. It took hold of the New York Yankees, the Miami Marlins, 
uh, the Oakland A's and uh, Minnesota Twins. And now we're on to the Philadelphia Phillies at the time of this recording. So make sure you check it out. I, again, I will leave links to that playlist down in the show notes below. But without question, MLB The Show to me is the best game out to be able to be played. So definitely dive into it. If you love baseball, it really will continue that passion and that love for the game. So definitely look into it again. Shout outs to the team at San Diego Studios for all the hard work that they put in year in and year out in, in my opinion, the best game out. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in again, a little bit of a different video than what we're used to doing here on the baseball banter broadcast, but I definitely wanted to dive into just a, a bit of a review and a praise, honestly, for MLB, the show and the new iteration of MLB, the show 23. So once again, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't, you know, the deal on this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, the bell comment like subscribe if there's more content different content that you want to see from us here at the baseball banter broadcast let me know that down in the comments or find me over on twitter at banter underscore baseball i'm very active on twitter so make sure you check us out there you can find us on our other social media outlets instagram and tiktok at baseball banter broadcast you can find our website in which we write articles daily mostly covering the world of major league baseball and that is at LaraQuintaLedger.com. And then, of course, our merchandise shop is Baseball Banter Broadcast. So you can find us on all of these different areas and platforms and support the channel in all those many different ways. So I want to thank you for tuning in. And I will catch you guys on the next broadcast when we banter about baseball. Peace. Peace.